Hello everyone, so it is Sunday morning and I haven't even like brushed my teeth yet but I just wanted to get this out here especially while the house is nice and quiet and I can speak uninterrupted um, so on my other channel I had mentioned that I was trying basically this dating website where you're it doesn't have to be your first date but basically you're dating and you guys are going on a trip so for some of these dates um you guys could like split the trip um or you could take them with you so like you know maybe you're going like on a road trip you're going cross country and you'd be like hey i have a spot you know who wants to go something like that or the other person could just pay fly you out and basically your first time meeting is on this trip so of course working up to this you guys are probably going to facetime a lot well this is what i've noticed so far you're going to facetime a lot um have you know different conversations even just like on the phone or just like texting for a couple of weeks and then yeah if you guys have chemistry then of course you guys get to meet and so there are two ways that this could happen so like basically think of like um like a bumble or a tinder um but you guys are going on like a trip so the ways in which i've noticed this happens is like either you will go to maybe they live in a state that you're interested in visiting so it could be like la it could be new york i mean it could be virginia it could be texas whatever and maybe they'll just like fly you out show you around their city take you out to dinner and then you know obviously like you'll fly back home maybe like the next day or something and then if that went well then you guys will go on like a big trip you know so some of these trips are like going to bora bora or cancun or the keys um you know and other some like european countries um that's if you're you're vaccinated if you're not vaccinated then of course just some of these trips could just be like around the u.s like maybe you've always wanted to go to i don't know tennessee <laughs> you want to go to nashville and so then you guys will do that so some of these um you know you'll notice it can go down you know a ton of different ways so uh at first like when i stand up on the site i was like okay this is crazy <laughs> and um i don't know it's just it's something like i'm really happy that i've been crazy enough to try it because it is actually really really cool and so my biggest thing was i wanted to go on a trip to my venus and my jupiter lines because i've lived on like my sun lines my moon lines even my venus cross uranus line and venus cross neptune so i have an idea of what happens with astrocartography um and so basically it's like you're superimposing where the stars and where the planets were at the exact time of your birth and you're putting it over a map and then so it's showing you where was venus in relation to where you were born on the you know you could do it on the u.s map or you could do it on europe's map you could literally do it anywhere and so i have certain states where venus is very very strong there and so when i travel there i'm going to be uh you know just having more luck with like um, attraction with maybe relationships partnerships i like i don't know because like i've never been to like my exact venus line i've been to venus cross neptune um which that's a very dreamy type of line um you know you have to be careful not to have your like your rose colored glasses on but literally it feels like you're like in a movie uh, you know neptune is like the ultimate unconditional love planet and venus is like more of how you love uh, physical love things like that and so just having those two merge together you know yes there is a tendency for you to maybe be too idealistic but let's be honest you could have that happen anywhere but you know there are certain lines where you'll notice certain things and so i really want to just go to my venus line to get all of that you know just that pure venus energy i want to go to my jupiter line and what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be trying to manifest things on these different lines jupiter makes you very lucky even going to your sun line is going to make you very popular if you were to like to research this the majority of it is actually true so i just highly encourage everyone to like check into it so yeah this was my way of getting to go to those different lines and i'm doing so in just like a fun way with a different person and so uh, the first trip I went on, um, I talked a little bit about it on my other channel, and so we just met in Miami first, and that's where he lives, and then after that, um, we would be going on another trip to one of my Venus and Jupiter lines. 
so that one should be taking place by the end of the month um we will see um and then the second trip i took was with someone else and so this one was to dallas and so i spent a week in dallas and so dallas is on my um my mercury line which you need to see where do what does mercury roll in your natal chart um and then that will kind of help you see in what areas you're going to be affected i also had my venus slash uh, cross neptune line in dallas as well and some moon slash venus lines and so it was very dreamy it was very romantic and us like coming together and connecting like of course like we've been talking for weeks and facetiming but um he was just like the perfect gentleman <laughs> and of course seeing someone in like person for the first time it's always different even if you like facetimed and so you know they could surprise you be like even more attractive than they were over facetime and so um why i'm sharing this um obviously like i want to do this again it definitely has kind of made me even more eager to visit those other areas those other places and just to see like just how the energy kind of like pans out but i was you know i've always heard something okay and so this is coming from a marriage coach and um you know this gentleman he is an older <laughs> maybe i shouldn't say his sign because i don't want to scare you guys off but um you know let's just say that he he lived uh you know as a monk for about nine years of his life okay so that's no sex that's no um relations with anyone and um did nothing but study the word and uh, he lived his life like that and then you know i guess he had a life change and you know he got married and he had this like you know this beautiful marriage with this woman for like 30 years until she passed away and so you know he works as a marriage counselor and a therapist and he his information is actually really really helpful but he was saying something and um it kind of just stuck with me and so i wanted to share it with you guys and basically that when you are maybe healing yourself maybe you're getting yourself ready for a future relationship maybe you're learning things like learning how to talk to your partner like um and these things are like great to do even when you're single like you know learn how to talk to your partner like learn like when you guys have conflict how do you go about it um learn what types of i guess traits or mentalities um or attitudes are kind of a turn off to like the opposite sex so if you're a woman there's certain like traits and things that turn off men and for vice versa for men so you would be you know learning all of this and you know he, and he talks about all of this but some of this stuff like i feel like you guys probably already know so i won't go into all that but he said something about practicing it and he said for people who feel like maybe they were maybe they had like a bad bout in love like you know you had something that was very traumatic happen it kind of has you scared of love and so you put up these blocks these blockages and basically what happens is you start like making these self-fulfilling prophecies about these people and you're not really giving people a chance um and you just think they're gonna hurt you from the beginning and then basically they end up doing so because you know you're manifesting this to happen and so he said something about you know practice dating and doing all the things that you'd want to do in a relationship with someone that you know you want a long-term commitment from so and this is where it gets kind of controversial and i was just like oh, i'm not sure how i feel about this but uh, he was like say yes to that guy in your office he's been asking you out for lunch and you're just always like no 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 because like you see him as the nice guy like actually say say yes like go out and you know you need to you can't just like have issues in relationships maybe in some relationships you were too controlling maybe you were um emotionally unavailable so you can't just read about these things in theory and then the next serious relationship you get in where there's tons of sexual tension which muddies up your brain like no other i mean lust will lust is very uh, a very powerful motivational tool for a lot of people it'll have you doing things that you know you're just like not thinking clearly and falling for someone like it's like the smoke gets into your eyes and for most people what ends up happening is that they have these relationship patterns and so they'll have these traits and these um like uh, let's say maybe they took forever to text you back and um maybe as soon as you get the text you're just like okay well guess what i'm gonna take even longer so like you know you start playing these games and basically these games bring you into like a pattern and then you get end up with like the same outcome that you've got with like 
your last relationship you know or maybe the last couple of people you're just dating so you guys didn't even get to the relationship stage but you know a lot of people get in their own way and it's just like if you want to break out of those patterns you have to start practicing and no you're not just going to meet someone to or I mean you could but <laughs> for a lot of people you know it takes time to really meet like that one like you know it's just like the stars align and it's just like oh my gosh I could spend the rest of my life with this person but a lot of times if you're meeting people whether it's on dating apps or um, it's through your work whatever you know you'll just feel some attraction but you're probably not gonna feel like you just got struck by lightning like oh my gosh I'm falling and it's like don't be afraid of these types of connections like still go for it you know you can go on a date with someone and not take advantage of them you know you can still pay your own way like but it's just like start practicing being how you would want to be for your you know for the next time you really fall head over heels for someone because let's be honest none of us know when that will happen next a lot of times falling in love it's just like it's like getting hit by a train <laughs> it just comes out of nowhere and so um you know start practicing good um a lot of people have like more of um i would say they get anxiety like if they haven't heard from the person they're interested in even if they're like not falling for that person just like even if like they just went on a date and you're like oh that great was okay and then like all of a sudden like that person like stops texting them or like maybe there's long gaps in between where there usually weren't before like it gives a lot of people anxiety and like it, it freaks them out and for some people it's like it basically makes them start trying harder and um others just have an issue of just being too attached and like being kind of smothering um and so it's just like if you want to break out of these routines you need to start practicing and so start practicing healthy distance start practicing um you know well, i won't say yeah i guess it is healthy distance because in a relationship you should still have your own life i know i'm um, speaking from my experience i notice that whenever i start falling for someone a lot of the hobbies and the things that i used to love to do all of a sudden it's like i stopped doing those things like everything starts becoming so um just like centered around that other person and so you know i won't go out with my friends as much as i used to do like all of a sudden i only want to spend all my time with this person and it's just like if you get caught up in that you know that is kind of a little bit unhealthy like you should definitely have a balance of still doing the things that you love and your hobbies for some people they'll notice that their work life will start to suffer maybe before they were always very sharp and very focused and um you know they really just got things done and now all of a sudden like they're getting kind of lazy and they're falling for someone and their mind is always on this person and it's just like um you you have to start practicing and start learning how to still maintain your life and not feel like just because you're not giving all of you all of your free time to this one person that you don't feel like it's going to make you feel like you don't care like there is a way to being you know a genuine and a loving person and giving your partner lots of attention <laughs> without having to give them every single second and moment you know people in healthy relationships you know they might still have hobbies that they do that maybe their significant other isn't into maybe so and so is into football you don't like football well that's okay that person can still go watch football and it doesn't have to be a big huge issue of oh my gosh are they talk to other women um you know they're doing something without me like you know that jealousy he also said something um that i've noticed in my own life have you noticed like when you start dating someone or maybe you just get into a relationship and all of a sudden like you'll start getting approached by like the opposite sex more like all of a sudden like it's like guys are more interested or like people just like start randomly asking you out for lunch and like maybe prior when you're like single that only happened like you know maybe like once a month or something like you know it was few and far between but now all of a sudden it's just like you know you haven't changed the way you're dressed you you don't have like a ring on your finger all of a sudden <laughs> you know nothing has changed physically but it's just like your energy sometimes when people are happy and they're like glowing on the inside i think that energy just gives off this come to me this magnetic vibe and it just pulls in people and um, i know uh some men who have said when like when they got married all of a sudden it's just like they're figuring out like all of these women aren't like just into them out of nowhere and um it would happen like when they're wearing their ring and like you know maybe sometimes they'll be at the gym and they're not wearing their ring and before they would never have girls like come up and try to talk to them but now all of a sudden it's just like <laughs> everyone is interested and so i definitely think it's an energy thing and so this is you know again i think it was controversial when i heard it from him and i was just like 
no, this is weird, but he was just like, you know, you need to go out and have fun. And so that means even if you're just going out with someone that you see as a friend, you should still, you know, basically he was telling you that like you should be dating multiple people. <laughs> And maybe not putting like all of your eggs in one basket because there's just something about you being um, I don't want to say happy, but maybe just staying busy or not Hyper focusing and I think this is only for people who have anxiety when they're dating someone So if you're like not even together, you guys are just dating you get you know anxiety about maybe not talking to them or maybe like this weekend you guys didn't go hang out or do something and like you automatically think the worst like oh my gosh they're losing interest <laughs> so this is for those people it would be like you know if there are two or three people in your life who would want to take you out it's just like you know start getting to know them start talking to them if you're on a dating website and there's maybe a couple different guys that you would like to actually meet up with maybe just go meet all of them <laughs> like um at, at this and if someone asks you or are you only seeing me you should always be honest i'm always honest and i know it like it, it's scary when someone asks you that like am i the only person you're dating or am i the only person you're seeing right now and um you know it's scary but you need to be honest if there's another guy that you're also you've been like out to lunch with or out to dinner with now where i think this gets hurtful is when people lie and they just, like you know they do sneaky stuff so obviously telling someone oh you're the only one i'm going on dates with right now when you're not you know that's messed up and trust me that karma will come back to you for some people this could turn into a negative if you are sexually active with multiple people at one time i think um maybe there's someone out there who this works for them maybe they work you know in the adult entertainment business <laughs> they're making movies and like you know this is their profession um but for a lot of people i think you know saving that for someone that you really care about i think you know and by really care about like i don't mean you have to marry them i'm just like you know someone that you could see yourself in like a long-term relationship with um i think that would probably do you more good <laughs> than you like sleeping with multiple people at once i think um that's a bit too much like we're just talking about going out to dinner so like we're just talking about you're on a dating website you're interested maybe in like two, two or three different guys and like maybe just you know go out with those two to three different guys um you know you don't have to have everyone and their brother paying for you like you know you could just pay your own way or maybe you could have them pay for you like it, that's that's your choice that's your decision but it's just i thought it was very interesting how he was saying that this will help you with not being hyper focused and help you to just relax because sometimes and i know obsessive is a very strong word but sometimes people meet someone for the first time and even if they don't feel like this is their soulmate maybe they're just getting to know this person they will still kind of obsess over every little thing they'll obsess over how often they're texting them or how often they've asked to like facetime or they're just they're they're making blockages in their life especially when you're manifesting love you're making all these blockages and you don't even know it by thinking about it too much um because you definitely are no longer acting as if you have very uh, strict expectation and the sad thing about it is you have expectation about a person that you don't even know a person that you're getting to know that they're proving to you and you're proving to them that you know we are good together and that we do life well together so i think some people like they just like jump in head first they start putting all this pressure on the other person the other person can feel that pressure and now we have an unequal energy exchange we have one person giving more than the other maybe the other person kind of starts to run a little bit and so you know the other person starts to pursue and um you know pursuing is good to an extent like it's only cute at the very beginning and then after that you know both should be um you know giving and receiving pretty pretty freaking close to equal um yeah for this to ever like be something to work and so um i just thought that was very interesting what he said about dating multiple people and um i will say as someone who is trying it right now it definitely is helping i do not see myself obsessing <laughs> over anyone um which is good because i'm able to keep i think a, a healthy mindset on things and um you know not basically put too much pressure all on one person and so i'm basically training myself out of my old 
thoughts and beliefs on relationships and what you're how it's supposed to be because let's be honest if what i was doing was right if what i was doing before was working then i probably would be in a much different you know relationship right now i probably wouldn't have made the mistakes that i made it's good to like start actively if you're manifesting love to actually start putting in the action right now with whatever is at your disposal it, it reminds me of like the magician card in the tarot the magician he has all of these items and this is the card manifestation but he has all these items in front of him laid out on this table and whenever you pull that card it's telling you that everything you have right now even if it doesn't seem like you're ready you have everything you need to start creating whatever reality you're trying to manifest and so it is the card of taking action like right freaking now like just going for it and so i think a lot of people are they're manifesting love and they're waiting for it to like fall into their lap and they're not taking action um, and they're not practicing. And so I know like the practice thing, like it sounds really weird, but as someone who's actually trying it, um, I think the man who had a beautiful marriage up until the time his wife passed, I definitely think he was onto something. Um, and I can just attest that it is really, really helpful. I'm very, very thankful for the connections that I've made, even on like the two dates that I went on just within these past three weeks, like, our connections where it got very deep um, we were sharing you know some things and it was just like it was such just one of those vulnerable well multiple vulnerable conversations and it's just it was beautiful just to be so open in that way not to put pressure on anything um and uh, yeah it was just very very interesting so it's like i feel like i'm doing so many different experiments at once because i'm experimenting with manifesting from my different lines you know these auspicious lines and then i'm also um healing and um you know readying myself i'm just practicing everything that i want and so it's almost like you are acting as if you are already in that right now, even though maybe you're not in a long-term relationship right now. Like I said, when I first heard some of these ideas at first, I was kind of like turned off, like, cause it just sounded so wrong. But to be honest, if you're kind of watching these videos, then you already are probably to a point of just, I don't know what I'm doing and what I'm doing is not working. And so it's just like, why not do the opposite of like what you've been doing and just see how it'll work out for you. Because for me so far, um, it's just been like an amazing response. And um, I don't know, it's just been so healing. Um, another thing I've noticed, and this goes back to you not only keeping yourself busy but just doing something that you're passionate about i am really passionate about traveling to new places and so it's just something that just like excites me so much and so one of the things that people say when you are maybe manifesting you know your your partner or whatever you're manifesting it's like work on yourself and find a hobby find something that you love and put your love into that so i find when i'm doing this i have had um people from my past like come out of the woodwork and like start like literally you would think it's like mercury retrograde um definitely just like reach out to me and it, the only change is that i've had a shift in my energy that's the only change um i've definitely been happier <laughs> i've been more excited for the future you know knowing that i have something really like you know to look forward to it's just incredible and so i've had um past relationships people i've been in past relationships with um you know start talking just out of nowhere and contacting me and um yeah it's just really it just goes to show you that that theory of when you are happy and when you're just completely preoccupied all of a sudden maybe the people that you wanted to reach out all of a sudden like they do <laughs> as soon as like you're happy as soon as you're doing something else and i will put in this little caveat that just because someone from your past reaches out does not mean that you should open up that chapter with them i'm just being very honest with you on what i've noticed these last couple weeks that i've been doing these experiments the things that i wanted from my past have all of a sudden it's right in front of me it's like being delivered to me um, and it's I think it's directly because I've changed my vibration. I've changed like I've had a shift in energy 
So for some people, this shift in energy will actually be like a new hobby. Like maybe you're into gymnastics and you want to find somewhere that has like a trainer for adults and like you start going like once a week or twice a week and then you just get like into that. Um, for some people, it could be like different sports. Maybe you always like wanted to learn, I don't know, jujitsu. <laughs> um, others, it could be, uh, I don't know, maybe you like going like to car shows, like anything. So like you, you join a group and like you go out to these car shows and you meet all these people and maybe like one day you like, you want one of those cars like me like i don't know it could be like a camaro <laughs> or it could be like an old restored car but when you start getting into things that gets you excited that you get passionate about um i'm telling you the energy shift uh people like happy people um and happy people attract basically everything they freaking want there definitely is something to this so hopefully this video was not too all over the place <laughs> but i just had to come on here and um kind of just explain the rundown of my thought process on um, not only what I'm hearing and I'm researching but actually putting it to work in my life and what my results have been thus far.